What's going on guys and welcome back to my Manchester United career on FIFA 13 and this is season 2. As you can see I'm just speeding things up here as I'm just offering current players new contracts. Mainly first team players, I mean De Gea he came to me, he asked me personally, he said Hey boss, can I have a raise in wage? It's like you cheeky son of a gun, yeah you can. <laughs> Simply because he's an amazing goalkeeper, I really like De Gea and his age as well, he's only going to get better as he gets older. Rio Ferdinand as well, I know he's gone down in rating, he's 77 now. Not in age, 77 in rating. But I've offered him uh, an extension contract and as you can see now I'm offering Vidic contract. He's amazing as well as he saw last season. And look at this, I was offered the job role of managing Italy. And I'm, you're probably thinking, well why isn't anything happening on the screen right now? And I was sat there, I was like, hmm, do I take it? Do I take the role of manager for Italy or shall I keep waiting to see if England come up? And then I, uh, as you can see, I'm like, accept. And then, oh, oh, am I going to go for it? Shall I? Shall I go for it? Shall I? And then, oh, come on, hurry up. <laughs> I need to speed this thing up. But in the end, look how long it's taken. See, see what I mean? It take, took me so long. In the end, I confirmed it. So that confirms it. I am now the new Italy manager. So that's going to be fun having uh, two teams to manage. Plus, it's going to be good for you guys as well watching because you're going to be seeing two sets of teams playing in this season. It's going to be an amazing season. I'm really looking forward to playing this, as you'll see later in the video with some of the transfers that I make. So as you can see here, the season actually officially hasn't ended just yet. But it gave me the option, I was like, oh, I'll have a look at some of the stats and go through. Van Persie ending up top with 18 goals altogether. It's kind of good. Hopefully he does better next se this season, I should say, not next season. And I've just got the board here. Send me an email saying, congratulations, you've done amazing. You are the best manager in the world. Please carry on. Just basically singing my praises because I'm just that good on the career mode. <laughs> and Bebe, his return from Sheffield Wednesday. I know there's a few of you saying, keep Bebe, don't sell him, don't loan him again, keep him to play. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to see, I'm going to play him in the, uh, the pre-season friendlies and we're going to see how he gets on. This season though, it's going to be the season of the youngsters. We're going to have people like Bebe, Danny Welbeck, Nick Powell, etc, etc. Um, we're, we, it's going to be an amazing season, I'm really looking forward to this actually. So before we go into the United squad, I'm just going to quickly show you the Italian team. So we've got players like Balotelli, Cassano, Buffon, Rossi. Pe I'm just pretty much uh, swapping a few players over, I'm bringing Buffon onto the squad. He's still amazing, even at his age, and I'm bringing Rossi over as well. When I first came onto the Italian team, I was like, no, where's everyone gone? Players like Cannavaro, Del Piero, Perlo, they've all gone. No, it's so sad. But anyway, we move on. This is my preseason friendless for Manchester United. Our first game is uh, Old Trafford against Stade Brest. <laughs> he said Brest. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. Our second game is away against Stade Reims, I think you pronounce it. And our last one is Old Trafford against Hoffenheim. Not too bad, to be honest. They're easy fixtures in my eyes, instead of fixtures like uh, Bayern Munich right at the start of the season like it was last season. Moving on, we've got more emails from the board of course, telling me that we need to win everything. There is my transfer budget, 45 million, can you just imagine what I can do with that? 45 million. Basically they're telling me that the transfer market is open, and we receive an offer for De Gea. For 9.5 mil? You for real? No way. So I reject that. So moving on, we're going to the transfer list. And we're going to... Uh, someone said in one of the comments in the last video from last season, go for Hummels. So I'm looking at Hummels. Overall, 87. Age 24. He's a centre-back. We need a centre-back. Rio, uh, he's getting old now. He's only uh, 77 in rating. So why not? Why not buy a new defender who is also a leader of men. It's as though it's meant to be having Mats Hummels in the centre-back for Manchester United. When you guys were commenting on the videos from last season saying you need to buy this defender, you need to buy this other defender, I was thinking to myself, yeah I do, because 
my, my defence it isn't that strong. I mean, we had the players. Look at this. Wayne Rooney, Barcelona offering 43.5 mil. No, it, it's a good offer, but no, I, I'm sorry. I can't see myself selling Wayne Rooney. He's a brilliant player. Overall 90. Going back to the defence, we, we had the players last season. We had people like Smolin, Evans, Phil Jones. If if needed, they could have easily have took up the role where Rio and Vidic play. But luckily for me, no one got badly injured. And in my opinion, players like Evans and Jones are not first team material just yet. And I think having Hummels on the team, who looks as though he's had first team experience over at Dortmund for a while, I think he's going to fit in just nicely. Notice that I do reject the offer from Marseille for Johnny Evans. I do want to use him this season. He's going to be on uh, a rotation sort of thing for the uh, the back four there. It's always good to have an experienced player, especially in defence. And I know I needed a right back because I know Smolin and Raphael can play that position, but it kind of seems empty. So I stumble upon Philip Lahm, one of my favourite players. He's at the age of 29 and his overall rating is 87. So I inquire about the dude and they come back to me and they say, well, we're not going to be selling him because he is an important player. Sorry, no can do. And I wasn't going to give up on Philip Lahm. I, I was going to keep pestering them until they eventually said, go on, then you can have him. Because I would love to see Philip Lahm at Manchester United. And I would love to see him at United in real life as well. I think he's just an all-round amazing player. So at the start of last season, as you know, we strengthened the midfield. Bringing in Eriksen and Lenz. Unfortunately for Lenz, it didn't really work out. I wasn't really having much fun using him. Plus, it wasn't giving Valencia much of a chance having first-team football as well. So at the start of this season, we're strengthening the defence. As you can see, I'm offering the contract. For Hummels, crucial first team player, yes he will be because Rio Ferdinand is not the player he used to be. I almost jumped out of my seat with joy after reading that Bayern Munich had gone back on their word and accepted our offer for Philipp Lahm. As you know, they said that he wasn't for sale. Obviously the offer was too good for them and so I offer him a contract which hopefully, fingers crossed, he accepts and we hear back from Mats Hummels. He accepts my contract offer so what do I do? Of course, I confirm the transfer, and also, we beat Man City in getting him. After signing Hummels, we hear back from Philip Lahm, and he declines my offer, as he feels he needs a bigger role in the club, so of course I go straight back to renegotiating with him, and this time, instead of important first team player, he's a crucial first team player, and I submit the offer. I did hesitate just a little, I was thinking, shall I do it, is it worth it? Then I thought, of course it is, it's Philip Lahm, screw it, I'm going to do it. And all I had to do was confirm the transfer, and then this chap is coming over to Old Trafford. Oh, how I look forward to using him. What do you guys think? Do you think Philip Lahm is a great player to have on the team? I think he is. Let me know in the comments section below. As you just saw as well, Ashley Young has gone to Barcelona. So that's two wingers I've sold now, Ashley Young and Jermaine Lenz. I mean, there's opportunity now to buy someone else that can go in that position on the left as there's only Nani, pretty much, because Giggs has retired, unfortunately. So guys, in the comment section below, let me know what sort of left winger would you want to see at Old Trafford. United against Brest. So we kick off our second season at Old Trafford, Man United versus Stade Brest. I was ready for this, I was pumped up, I hadn't actually played FIFA for a few days, so yeah, I was definitely ready for this game, it's going to be a good game, I knew it for sure. Here is my starting 11, Philip Lahm is starting, we've got Lindengard, Small and Vidic, Butner, Nick Powell, Cleverly, Valencia, Toshik, Bebe and Danny Welbeck up front. So five minutes into the game, Valencia down to Lahm, Lahm with a nice cross, but look at the way Welbeck lands on his ankle. He's going to be in a world of hurt after that one. I was getting kind of worried. I was like, no, well, bet we need you for the season. I hope it's nothing too serious. And just a couple of seconds later, he gets up. Oh, he's fine. But, oh, all of a sudden, he's on the sideline. He's injured. <laughs> and he's got to go off. Nice little glitch there, FIFA. So, my only options on the bench is Van Persie and Neymar. And I decide to... Uh, pick Neymar, bring him on, see what he can do, seeing that he didn't have the best of finishes to the last season, and Paul Welbeck, I hope he's, as I say, I hope he's not out too long, and look at Lahm, the playmaker, passing it down to Bebe, and Bebe, finding Neymar in loads of space, as he takes it into the box, defenders catching up, 
but not good enough for Neymar as he powers it home in the 43rd minute making it 1-0 to Manchester United. I would love to have seen an alternative angle to this goal as I think it like kind of curled round the goalkeeper it looked kind of nice. But at half time it was 1-0 to United, we was looking good, we was looking strong and it's a good start to our season. Come second half, start abreast, they were pining on the pressure, they wanted to goal, they wanted to draw level and I'm surprised he didn't score that header. And look at Cleverly here, down the wing, finding Neymar's head and Neymar with a nice header but unfortunately the goalkeeper getting in the way. And come full time it was just 1-0 to Manchester United, not many goals which is a shame but we still win the game and we go away with some high confidence. So after the game I receive a few emails, Danny Welbeck, he suffered a sprained knee and will be out for four weeks so we'll probably miss the start of the season, especially that Community Shield final against Man City. I receive an offer from Chelsea for Makeda, no I'm sorry I'm not sent to Chelsea, tough luck. And that pretty much rounds up my first episode of my second season with Manchester United on FIFA 13. Hope you guys have enjoyed, be sure to rate the video, leave a comment and if you haven't done already, do subscribe. Thanks for watching, peace out.